Welcome to day two of the Convertible Solutions Virtual Trade Show. We're back again today with myself and Pete Pearson, who you're very familiar with. We are going to be talking today about Multiloft, Multiloft Encore, as well as our specialty sheets. So Pete, that leads right into one of the main questions that we get at trade shows when they look at some of our products. How did you print this really thick card? Yep, you're exactly right, Laura. We get that all the time. We always tell people that we print these on our digital presses. And of course, the natural reply is, you didn't print this on a digital press. And we say, actually, we did. And this is how we did it. We did it with multi-loft technology. Now, Laura, as you know, with multi-loft technology, we coat the back side of all the papers with the glue. It's dry to the touch. It doesn't stick to anything when it goes through your digital printing press. It only seals under pressure. So what that means is, is you can take multiple sheets of this paper, run it through your digital press platform, print whatever graphic you want on it. After the job is completely printed, you take the sheets, put them together, glue touching glue, activate the glue by pressure with your guillotine trimmer or a platen press, and then you trim out your cards. So for example, this particular sheet already has the front of the business card imposed on it. What the customer would do is they would take a second sheet, impose the back of the business card on the sheet of paper, run these sheets through your press, and as I just said, you take two of the sheets, put them together, glue touching glue, take them to your guillotine trimmer. We suggest stacking them about one inch high. Whenever you adjust your trimmer to three tons of pressure and you trim out your business cards by cutting these into smaller and smaller pieces, setting it at three tons will ensure that the final trim is 300 PSI, Laura. At 300 PSI is what is needed to make a proper seal and make sure you have proper bonding on the cards. Another thing that we have is we tell our customers, sometimes, depending on your trimmer, you might get a little bit of, we call chatter. Chatter is around the edges of the card where it kind of flakes off or bursts just a little bit. This is from the thick paper being soft, kind of like a buttermilk biscuit, kind of flaky. So what we recommend to our customers to do is make a trim about one millimeter from the final trim, and then your very last cut will trim that one millimeter off. By doing that, and having just a very small final trim, you have to clean up the edges and it'll leave you a very nice trim piece. Another thing that we've done is we've tried to introduce a color core to our customers on our business cards. A lot of customers like that color vein, the color center in the middle of the business card. So Laura and I got together with the rest of the management team several years ago, and we have developed Encore. Encore is a 16 point thick sheet of paper, just like the other multi-loft papers the smooth and the textured, but we have pre-laminated a color sheet to that paper. So for example, on this sheet, it is nine points of color red and seven points of white. This will be ran just like any other multi-loft sheet, Laura. You take two sheets, the front of the business card on one sheet, the back of the business card on the second sheet, print them, stack them up about one inch high, just like a normal sheet, normal job. You put them in your trimmer, make sure you're set on three tons, and you trim out your final product. And again, you could have any type of project that you're printing on your sheets. You could have postcards, business cards, invitations, mailers. You can come up with anything that you can in your graphic arts department to meet the project that your customer wants. With the Encore sheets, we have the red, we have light blue, we have orange, we have black, and we also have a regular dark blue. We have found that these five colors are pretty popular, don't you think, Laura? That's correct, Pete. And we will talk a little bit more about color in day three of our virtual trade show. So I see you have a few other things laying on the table here, Laura. What are some of the sheets you have on your side? Okay, well, one of the things we were going to talk about was our specialty sheets. So we have a, a, a few different substrates that are really great. Um, they are some great textures, some great looks. And you can start with that with the sheet instead of having to print it on the sheet. Mm -hmm. So the first sheet I'm going to talk about is our cork. This is an actual cork sheet. It is 15 point thick and it will run through your digital press. This is available both in a multi-loft sheet with the glue, just like what Pete was talking about, as well as a classic substrate, meaning you can just print on this, do what you need to do, and go. This particular sheet, it is a little bit flimsy, a little bit lazy. That's just the nature of cork. So we recommend a lot of times, if you're going to use a cork project, you might use a backer sheet. Use the multi-loft version, although you can get it without multi-loft glues, but use a multi-loft version. That way you can put a stiffer, thicker sheet on the back, and it will be more rigid. 
We also have our PVC sheet. This is a great option for somebody who's wanting something maybe um, a really super smooth or something that's like a plastic-like feel. Mm -hmm. It uh, Again, this is available in both our multi-loft and a classic substrate without uh, without glues. Yep. And just to go in on that a little bit more, Laura, this is not an actual thick piece of PVC laminated to paper. It's actually a very, very, very thin PVC material that's sprayed and applied onto the surface of it. So it's very much going to act like a piece of paper rather than a piece of plastic. Okay, that's great information, Pete. So our last things that we're going to talk about are wood sheets. Now we have two different versions of the wood sheet. We have the birch, which is a lighter a lighter wood sheet, you can utilize this with regular four color process. You have some really, a really great grain with this. Again, available in both multi-loft and our classic substrate. We also have cherry. Now cherry, we have found in our, uh, in our process that it does work a little better with a white ink lay down behind the mm -hmm. color to really yep. make it stand up off of that sheet. Just because it's a little bit darker of a sheet, some of the grain in that, it, it varies, every single sheet yeah. is different. So every single piece that you use with this wood is a, is a standalone piece due to the grain of the wood. This is an actual wood veneer on paper. Something that you might want to consider if your project uses the two wood products is that you might consider the graphics that you're using for that project. If it's going to be very detailed, fine print, or something that's very critical to see. The birch piece might be a little bit better because it's lighter and it's easier to read. So Laura, can you give us an idea of what you would use for the cherry wood? Cherry would be great for things that aren't graphic intensive. Maybe they aren't, they have, don't have small text, mm. larger art pieces, okay. things like that. So less details. So less details, okay. absolutely. Perfect. So Laura, what kind of samples do you have here on the table? So here on the table, I have some ideas of what you can do with multi-loft. Some of the things that we suggest are mixing and matching textures. Mm -hmm. So that's a really great thing, um, bringing in the uh, sense of touch to things. So you might have something really texture intensive on the front, like maybe a wood or a cork. And on the back, you could have something like soft touch. So as people are holding that in their hand, they're feeling two different types of texture. So Laura, what is the soft touch you're talking about? Well, our soft touch sheet is a sheet that is has soft touch coating. This is not a laminate. It is an actual coating on the paper that is there prior to printing. So you would run that through your digital press. We recommend minimal ink coverage. That really lets that soft touch um, really stand out as someone is, mm. is touching that. It's, that makes sense because more ink on it's going to cover up the soft fill. That's right. That that's does make right, sense. Pete. So Laura, how did you make some of these pieces that are on the table right here? Pete, what we did is we took uh, we took some of our multi-loft sheets. For instance, this here is a cork sheet. We've printed it. On the back, we've used our craft sheet. This is a great idea for boutiques, mm. uh, for any kind of maybe small business as a hang tag. They can have custom hang tags uh, within their store. We also have a really great business card here. We have actually die cut, mm -hmm. used the die cut as part of the design, and it goes all the way through the card to give a, a, an extra level of mm -hmm. visual interest. So Laura, how did you get the color on the inside of the card in the center of that? It's a great question, Pete. A few minutes ago, you talked about our Encore sheet. So this particular card is made with two sheets of Encore, so we didn't, they didn't have to purchase any additional sheet to get that color in the middle. The Encore they used was our orange fizz. So it was the white print side with the orange in the middle. When they mm -hmm. put the glue sides together and sealed them like you talked about, you got a great vein of color right there in the middle of that. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yep. I noticed on this piece right here, it looks like there's wood on two sides. This is a really great piece, Pete. We were able to use both of the woods, so two different substrates. On the front is the birch that has our small text pieces, things like that. And on the back is our logo, huh. which is a really great way to showcase, of course, two different substrates, but also give a really, uh, a really great piece that has a lot of visual interest. So Laura, I see you have on the table here a piece that we always get asked at the shows. How did you get this magnet to run through your digital press? We didn't, Pete. So in our multi-loft line of papers, we have a magnet sheet. This sheet is not to go through your press. All you do is get the magnet sheet, the glue is already on it, you print the front on whatever substrate you would like to do. Mm. It could be wood, could be cork, could be Encore, could be absolutely anything. Print your artwork, marry it together with the magnet sheet and trim it out. The great thing is you can do a custom magnet, save the dates, all kinds of things. Mm, very cool. And it can be small runs. So yeah. nobody has to buy 500, you can yeah. do 10. Yeah. It's Super a really easy way to get magnets out, same day service. It sure is. Very cool. Any last words, Pete? Yeah, you bet, Laura. We thank everybody for visiting us on these virtual trade videos that we're doing. Again, we can't be at the trade sites. You can't come to us, but we're still thinking of every one of you 
every one of our customers and we're here to help. So like in every video, we're just going to sign off by saying contact us at Convertible Solutions and we can help you out with any of your projects. Be safe.